So I'm here to show you how to build a shooter game with App Inventor for Android. Um, we're going to start off by adding a canvas component onto our screen. Canvases are for animation and for kind of drawing, painting. And typically when you add a canvas, you're going to want to feel the parent on the width. You, you know, So the canvas will take over the whole screen. And in height, we're just going to set it to, I don't know, 300 pixels for now. Okay, so here's our our surface for our for our shooter shooter game. Okay, and of course we need a shooter, and I'm going to add a not an image component because image components are kind of by themselves. If you want things that move around and animate, you want to go to the animation folder and grab an image sprite. Okay, so I'm going to drag drag in image sprite. He's got to go in the canvas, and actually I'm going to bring him down towards the bottom of the canvas and I'm going to rename that guy uh, shooter sprite get rid of the one so now I've got a a canvas and I've got a shooter sprite and for the sprite I need to set its picture property so I'm going to click on add and you notice I've got a little shooter over here on my desktop and I'm going to browse and its name is spacecraft.png Okay, but you can use you know any image you want for your for your shooter, and now I've got this little guy which is <clears throat> a spacecraft, and and there he is. I can kind of move him around, and um, so I've kind of got at least something going on here. This the second thing I'm going to do is add a ball. A ball is exactly like an image sprite, but there's no image associated with it. And this is going to be my bullet. You know, I could actually make a or find an image or make an image of a of a bullet. But I'm just going to add this ball and I'm going to set him right on on top there. So, you know, first thing I'm going to do is, you know, here's the kind of start of my user interface, right? And I'm going to go ahead and give the canvas a background. Um, let's make the canvas have a blue. Let's see how that works. Okay. And so there's you know the simplest UI I could think of, and we're we're gonna we're gonna make it more complicated later. But for now, let's let's do that. And the other thing I want to do is go back to basic and add a clock component. Okay, because clock components are kind of how we, you know, at least one way which we can make animation happen. And, and a clock com component gives us a timer event, and on that timer event we can make things happen. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the blocks editor and define some behavior. And the first behavior I'm going to build is just I want once the app starts, I want that bullet to take off. So we're not even going to, you know, make it where you have to, to to shoot it yet. It's just when the when the app starts, the bullet will shoot. Okay. So I'm going to go to my blocks and I'm going to grab my clock and my timer. Okay. And what I want to happen is every so many milliseconds, okay, and the default for this timer is a thousand milliseconds, okay, and you can see that if you go over to the clock component, the default timer interval is a thousand, okay, so every second I want to move the bullet, and actually, sorry, it's called ball one right now, let's go ahead and let's call, let's rename ball one to bullet. I really like to have descriptive names so I can especially when you get a lot of different uh, components you, you're going to want to have very descriptive names. So I want my bullet I'm really going to want to move the bullet. Okay, There is a function for moving called move to and that can move both the X and Y properties uh, but I just want to move my Y property and actually the way canvas is working app inventor is X's go from smaller to larger left to right and the Y property tells you um, up and down. So actually this is 0Y and this is 300Y down at the bottom. Okay. So really what I'm going to do is just change you know, every, every little uh, timer interval. I'm going to change my bullet's Y coordinate and I'm going to make it equal um, itself Okay, and plus I'm actually what I'm gonna do is minus some, okay, because the Y component's gonna get smaller for that bullet to move up, and I'm just gonna make it. Let's type in a ten to make a ten block. 
So there's 300 pixels here, so I'm going to move 10 every second to start. Let's just see how that goes. So clock.timer is an event. It's going to trigger, without user doing anything, it's going to trigger every thousand milliseconds, which is a second. You'll notice that bullet started to move. Every second it's moving 10 pixels. Okay, in my live testing over here. So pretty, pretty cool. Now we can make this guy go faster. So um, let's make it 100. Notice also when the bullet hits the top of the screen, it stops. Okay, so I'm going to change my time removal to 100. And I'm going to go back to the blocks editor and rerun this guy. This will restart the app, right? Because <clears throat> um, once the ball gets kind of to the edge of a canvas and tries to keep going, it, it's, it doesn't do anything. So, so right now my app should begin and then it, the bullet's going to move fast. So watch, watch closely, but every one-tenth of a second or 100 milliseconds, the Y value of the bullet should move 10. So watch close because it's going to shoot up pretty quick. Um, so the app is loading, there it is, and there's the bullet shooting. Okay.